What's up guys, it's SquishyCow227 back with another episode on the Cornercraft server. And today, we are going to go and busting. But that's not all we're doing today. So, um, this is just one of the things we're doing. And we're doing a challenge with Athletic Orc of who can get the most stuff from end busting. And uh, the stuff has an amount of points that I don't remember. I didn't listen. But um, each item is worth, like, some items are worth more points than others. And whoever has the most points gets 60% or, yeah, 60% of the loot. And the loser gets only 40%. And then we'll split the elytras evenly. But it should be really fun. So let's do that now. So let's uh, drop off some of the stuff because I actually haven't been on since uh, the end of last episode. And, oh, you died. But anyway, um, I'm not actually going to show the most important parts because that would take up way too much uh, film time. So we're just going to do this instead. And where should I put all this chicken? Let's just put it in here for now. There we go. There's so much chicken. Um, and then we have not very many rockets, but Athletic Work said he'd give us some rockets. You were killed by an Enderman also? What is up, dude? What's good, my bro? Let's put the Nether Star there. We're actually going to use the Nether Star later in the episode, so we'll hold on to that. And we don't need all these Ender Pearls. We'll just throw some of this junk off the edge. I'm also going to go to Athletic Workshop and buy some more golden carrots because he has lowered the price and um, they're two stacks for one um, for one diamond and that's a really good deal. Oh, I already have empty shulker box. I have three empty shulker. I don't even need these. I'll just put them back then. Three? That's it? Yep. Dude, that, that won't be enough. Trust me. That's true. Yeah. Okay, I have four. I'll buy one. Wait, where do I leave? I'll put these right there. And boom. And then I'll buy some golden carrots also. Yeah, I'm buying you out. Dude, Actually, that's an insane price. Okay. There we go. Now we... Oop. Now we got all those golden carrots. All those good golden carrots. Now we can... Vamoose. Okay, guys, so I'm just checking in, and I really forgot how easy end busting is. So I'll show you the loot I've gotten so far, which I believe consists of this, this, and no, not that. So these two. So I have a lot of armor, 16 diamonds, a bunch of health potions, a bunch of brewing stands, 43 iron, 47 gold, and then, uh, well, I have four dragon heads now because I've raided four ships. So I have four dragon heads, four brewing stands, and one, two, three, four elytra. And then I also have a bunch more tools. With These ones have silk touch, or one of them does at least. And then I have a chest plate, some more armor, and then a bunch of instant health, two potions from all the brewing stands. So yeah, it's it's going really well right now. And we still have uh, three and a half stacks of rockets, which is quite a few, but, um, I need to kill some more shulkers because my elytra is dying a lot. Maybe I'll even kill some more endermen too. So yeah, just wanted to check in with a progress report. We are doing great for the amount of rockets that we still have. And, um, I mean, I'm glad I didn't turn all this into, uh, into film because this definitely, oops, this definitely would have ended up like um, the wither fight where I would have run out of um, space and it would have gone not so well. Uh, not, not so well at all. I would have run out of space and that would have been terrible. So at least that didn't happen here. Um, so yeah, um, I still have quite a bit left. So um, I'll see you guys once we're done. and. Athletic Orc has also been getting a lot. He has a lot more shulker shells than me. We have about the same amount of el elytras, but it's fine. We'll see where we're where we are at the end. Okay, guys. So um, I've been end busting for quite a bit longer, and now I have a total 
of five shulker boxes filled with stuff and I have oh this is very unorganized here give me a sec so this is all my good stuff compiled into one chest so I have six elytras uh, almost three stacks of shulker shells and then almost two stacks of gold 25 emeralds six brewing stands um, almost two and a half stacks of iron almost a stack of diamonds and then almost two stacks of end rods and then I have the six dragon heads so then I have a bunch of armor and just random other stuff and all these uh, from other places so yeah that's that's pretty much that's all my stuff so far but as you can see we still have a lot of rockets so uh, we're gonna keep busting for quite a while but I am running out of space in these shulker boxes, so that's not good. But anyway, let's get back to busting. Okay guys, so another progress report. Um, I found a couple more cities, uh, and this is my main loot chest. I actually have so much stuff that it doesn't all fit in here. So I have all of this stuff. I have nine elytras, um, over four stacks of shulker shells. Um, and then a bunch of gold, a bunch of iron, and a bunch of diamonds, some dragon heads, that sort of good stuff. And then also all these boxes over here, these five plus this one which I'm filling up right now, are also for gear. So yeah, we have a lot of stuff. Um, I am starting to run low on rockets though, so yeah, we'll have to conserve those a bit more. Um, and I don't have high hopes for beating Athletic Orc because he has a lot of stuff also. But I don't know, maybe. So yeah, let's let's get back to this. Okay guys, so I've made myself a little safety hut here. And that is because our end busting trip is finally coming to an end. I have found one of these little portal thingies. So we're going to go through that. Um, let's see. I... I'll, I'll just show you all the loot when we get back, because me and Athletic Orc are going to have to count it out anyways, so I'll show you guys when we get there. I'm sorry I didn't, like, time-lapse this or something, or show the best parts, but um, it would have taken up too much space, and I didn't want to end up like last time. Oh, nice. I have pearls. Oh, that's awesome. We're back. We got so much loot. Okay, let's just cross our fingers and hope that we have more than athletic work. So, I think I did pretty well. I don't know if I do have more, but it's kind of like, okay, it's not really. I was going to say it's like a win-win if I do, because if, like, if he has more, then um, we split the Elytra, but if I have more, then I get to pick which armor I like, but I don't, I, I don't know. Let's, let's just go through and meet up with him. Oh, it feels so good to be back in the overworld. Guys, I've actually been on the grind for like five hours now because three stacks of rockets is no small deal. So, yeah. Um, now, I guess we count it all up and see who won. Is the wheat ready? It's pretty ready. Here, let's just put that lever. Oh, that's satisfying. Oh, it's all collecting, like, okay. So it, like, slows down and collects right in this little bottom part, and then it speeds up again. Good to know, good to know. We can close this, and we can replant. Okay, you guys probably don't want to watch this, but, so let's just, I know <laughs> I said it a lot, let's just skip to the part where we count it out. Okay, guys, so we are here at my base, and we have a lot of dragon heads and it's pretty lit and over here we have all of my good stuff in this one and then all these ones with a bunch of junk and stuff like that but all those are worth points so yeah um... we have all these dragon heads <laughs> okay let's, <laughs> let's actually pick those up but yeah now athletic orc is way down there you can see him <laughs> coming up and um... we're going to tally up the scores for um... the end busting thingy and whoever wins 
gets to pick whatever um, of the random junk stuff that they want, and whoever loses, um, well, they get 40% and the winner gets 60%. So you'd much rather want to win than lose. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna tally up those scores now. Should I grab like a notepad to write it all down or some signs? No, we can just compare like the differences. Oh yeah, we'll say who has more like so all the armor and stuff so we'll basically off we'll net them, right? Yeah. Okay. So we'll look at the shulker boxes and then we'll say this person has more like um, plus yeah, this person has plus 10 for the Elytras because they have one extra. But then he got minus 10 because dragon heads! Oh, guys, also, I, I only have nine dragon heads, and athletic orc also forgot to get two because it's so hard to remember to get them. They're, like, not that useful for anything, but it's like, come on. Uh, Once it was really laggy. Well, it was really laggy for a lot of it. But once I actually lag dropped and I fell and I, I was sure I was going to die and my Elytra wouldn't activate even though I was pressing the jump button. And um, then I forgot about my totem so I did live and then I just wasted my other totem actually uh, playing a round of chicken with myself where I'd fly up really high and then go straight down and try to pull up at the last second. But yeah. <laughs> how, how many points are ender chests? That's so unorganized. Look how organized mine is. This is my good loot chest. Or shulker. Here, look at my loot one. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Ooh. Hey, put that stack of diamonds back. <laughs> okay, okay, ready? How many did you get? Uh, not very much. 66 or something. 66, okay, 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 okay. So I won. So, 111 plus, or, wait, 111 Okay. Okay, we get it. You won. Just take all my stuff now. Or no, no, no. I know. I'm trying to figure out what's 60% of that. So, Athletic Orc has kindly sorted out all the stuff that he wants from my many boxes. And there is not much left that's diamond, I have to admit. But the good part of all the iron stuff is that we can disenchant all of it with a grindstone and get some XP from that, and then we can smelt it down into iron. So, I don't know. It probably wasn't worth that much, but still. And it looks like... Um, it looks like he didn't give us our, uh, our last Elytra. And he didn't give us the last... Uh, wait, did you take some of my sugar shells? Oh my gosh, there's pillagers everywhere. Dude, I did all the math. Oh, wait, we were splitting. Oh yeah, we were. That's true. Okay, so where's... Wait, so you did the math on the shulker shells, but not on the elytra? I did it on both. Well, I don't... Where's my last elytra? What do you mean, where's your last elytra? You had more than me. Remember? Huh. I thought I had... Okay. Either way, yeah, you still owe me one. Chest. Either way, you owe me one. This diamond chest plate will be good because it has unbreaking three and mending, and it also has fire protection. And as you guys know, I'm always falling into lava, so I'll actually keep that in my hot bar. And now we can finally get our tools back, and we are actually going to head over to the gravel area because there's spruce trees there, and we need to collect some spruce because Athletic Orc is getting pretty angry at me for not getting him his wood so let's go into a quick time lapse of me just collecting a bunch of spruce So it's raining right now, it's pretty lit, and it's also thundering, so um, this would be the perfect time to get a charged creeper, but I still don't have a channeling trident, 
so we'll have to do something about that for the next lightning storm. But right now, I just wanted to show you that I just got this cool new Riptide Trident, and it's basically rockets. Like, if I start flying, it's pretty much just rockets. Like, it's like rockets, but all in one, which is pretty, it's pretty cool. Oh, yep, there goes the, there goes the thunder. So, yeah, we'll do something about that next episode. I actually have something planned out. And, um, yeah, so anyway, I've gotten most of the wood. I just need a little bit more. Here, I'll show you. So, here's the wood. Um, we have, once we fill up this shulker box, we'll have enough. But those last few jungle things will be pretty easy. And this payment is due today, so I'll give that to Athletic Orc. But, anyway, that's enough with that. Um, now, we can finally make the creeper farm. So, this creeper farm is going to be, um, another, uh, design by, um, uh, Silent Whisper, and, uh, it's not exactly his design. I modified it a little bit, and hopefully it works, but the general idea of it was by him, and I'm thinking I'm just going to make a ton of little, uh, spawning platforms with the trapdoors and the blocks that spiders don't spawn and all of that stuff and I'm gonna make a ton of these and they're all gonna have cats in the center and the cats will scare the creepers off to them into like a giant water funnel and yeah that's that's pretty much all to my idea I don't think I've shown it yet but I've sorted all this out into like different boxes and it's it's pretty organized so I have collected up all the wood and um here it is i have nine stacks of birch uh 12 stacks of spruce actually and six stacks of jungle and athletic orc could say uh said i could get any for the, anything for the last nine but he really wanted more spruce so i decided to get him three extra stacks of spruce instead of just nine stacks of jungle because jungle is kind of ugly so yeah, that's that's all the wood right there, so I'll give that to him. But anyway, in the meantime, let's get started on the creeper farm. Oh my god! I almost just died. Dude. <laughs> okay guys, so this area is what I was going to dig out. And there's a freaking ravine right <laughs> Right under spawn that I did not know about. What is this place? People have already found this? This is so weird. Okay, so I guess we have to work around this then. Oh my gosh, there's so much obsidian and lava. This is going to be a nightmare. Ah. <sighs> Okay, so we are at Y level 11 at the bottom of this ravine. We can work with that. This will just be like the very bottom of the farm. I mean, I guess this already digs out a bunch of uh, what's already here. Oh, that, that works pretty well. Okay, so let's start, uh, let's start digging then. I think I might still do a first person time lapse because... Uh, it's still pretty thin, and I'd have to move it around a lot. But let's let's dig this place out. Where was I? Uh... Alright, so I fell down like right over here. Okay guys, so we've been mining out quite a bit, and we have a haste to beacon, so it's like insta mine. Look how satisfying that is. But anyway, um, this is a lot, this is going to take a lot longer than I expected. So I actually had to stop the time lapse a little while ago, because it was taking up all my storage. I'll show me building it in a third per, I'll show me building the creeper farm in a third person time lapse, but I'm just going to skip this 
time lapse of me digging out the area. You guys probably didn't want to see that anyways. So I'll see you guys once I finish this. Okay guys, so I think for the most part, we've got this whole area mined out and this is where the creeper farm is gonna go. So we did have to work around the ravine a little bit. You can still see it run straight through here. But yeah, it's, it's pretty good. And we upgraded our beacon from haste one to haste two. So now it's um, a lot like faster. We have instamine. And also I have fire resistance because um, I mined right here and there's like a lava pool and I almost died, but I'm fine now. So anyway, um, yeah, now we can start building the creeper farm. So this, if my, if I counted right and I counted multiple times, is 20 by 29, I think. So, um, we could fit, I think, three platforms across and two platforms this way. And, um, the platforms will be a 7x7 seven seven area with a cat in the middle and a couple of slabs here and there to make sure that no spiders spawn. And then, um, yeah, it will pretty much just stack those on top of each other all the way up. And then the cats will scare the creepers right off the edges. They'll fall down here. And then this will be a giant water funnel just pushing everything right into the center. And I don't think this beacon is the center, but it's close. Let's, um, let's, uh, let's start with the time lapse. This has been a lot of work to cut out. And, um, I don't really want to build a thing. We'll do a third person time lapse for this. So, the time lapse will start right now. Hold up, cut it, stop, stop the time lapse, time, stop the music. Um, so, I actually changed my plan. So, before I was going to make the design by Silent Whisper with a cat that scares the creepers off the edge. And I tested that out in my redstone testing world and it didn't it didn't work out and the cats were only scared like three blocks so i actually changed my idea from that because i wouldn't get enough creepers to um a new idea and that is a water pushing system here let me go over to my uh testing world and i'll show you guys okay so here's the design i created uh, oh, actually, I can play. <laughs> so, um, this is actually an all mob farm. It gets any mobs. So, any mobs that spawn on these platforms will fall down. Uh, here, let's look at it while it's not activated. So, the water comes out and pushes off all the mobs, and then it goes back in. It seems like it's a little broken right now because the water goes really long and then goes away for such a short amount of time. But anyway, the mobs will spawn, like, here and stuff, and they'll get pushed off, and they fall down here, and since this is for our, um, all mobs, the creepers will go right over this, and the spiders will too, and then you can just grind those out right here. But the mobs that don't go over this, like, zombies and stuff, they will actually go right down there, and then they go down like this, and then down there, and then you can just grind them but that's not what I'm here to show you so um so this is oh there's some natural mobs it looks like that's awesome so the mobs this is the redstone uh, it's very bad and um what it does is it sends well it does this really long thing that's the break between water and it looks like that's actually the time when the water is dispensed, so that's a little bit broken. But what it's supposed to do is it goes through all this stuff, and then once it hits this thing, this is powered, which sends a signal to start that, but then it also sends this second signal along that also goes there, and that um, starts, the first signal starts the water flow, the second one ends it, and then it goes through all these repeaters, which gives it enough time for mobs to spawn. And you can see that some more mobs are spawning, um, even with the system being broken a little bit. 
So, yeah. And then that is, that seems to be working pretty well. And then these guys come down. And they're a one or two hit. So, um, I think that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. So, we're going to build this. And, um, actually, I need to show you the inside. So, inside this, there is a, um, it's, like, also very bad redstone, but it goes, um, piston, redstone block, piston, redstone block, all the way down, and you see the piston pushes the redstone block into this one, which makes that one push that one, and when that goes to the, um, the dispensers, they dispense the water out, so... Then the mobs get pushed right off the edge, they fall down, and they get pushed down here. And our creeper farm should um, allow the creepers to be killed by this, and then like they'll fall into some mag like into a waterfall that'll push them into magma blocks or something. And it should hopefully work. So now we can start the time lapse um, of the creeper farm. grind for well too long now so <laughs> i finished both of these as you saw in the time lapses we have this giant pillar and this giant pillar and these are all the spawning platforms i think there's nine platforms but only eight that creepers will spawn on and i'm actually very excited right now because if you didn't know the new update came to bedrock and that is the nether update, which means now there are things like bastions and piglins and all these different new biomes in the nether, and it's going to be awesome. So I, um, I'm really excited for that, I just, but I did have to finish the creeper farm. But because of the nether update, the server has actually been down for the past two days uh, while well, it's been updating, so I haven't been able to play. And, um... Yeah, so even though I've finished all the platforms, I'm not nearly as close as I'd like to be at this point. Uh, I still have to place in a bunch of trapdoors and hook up all the redstone and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I can't really time lapse that. Um, I don't know if I'll finish putting in all the trapdoors, uh, but I will start and then. Um, I think next episode we could continue working on it, but I'm so excited for the nether update. I want to get into the nether and get as much resources as I can as quickly as possible. So that's definitely what we're going to do next episode. And um, I guess we'll start placing in some of the trapdoors. Okay, so I'm just placing in these last couple of trapdoors. And we have finished, um, well, quite a few layers. If you look down here. You can see that we've done a lot of layers of trapdoors, and oh, <laughs> here he is now. We have a new person on the server. His name is Icodas, and yeah, he's gonna he's gonna play on the server, and um, we're actually gonna give him the starter kit that we've been putting together. But unfortunately, that is where we will end today's episode. So we went end busting with Athletic Orc. 
we did that cool challenge thingy, which I lost, but that's fine. Um, then we built the creeper farm, and we had a new person join the server. So hopefully Icodas uh, can really make an impact on this server. And um, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.